Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the solution to question 9A, part 3, on the CSEC math exam pass paper, January 2012. Now, basically what they're asking us here in part 3, we're supposed to find the value of x for which f of x is equal to 0. Now, uh, and that's, that's another two marks. Now, if you note in math, the e equal sign means same as okay so it simply means the exact thing that is on the left hand side is the same thing that's on the right hand side so if they are asking us um to find the value of x for which f of x is equal to zero since f of x is equal to zero and f of x is also equal to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4 then we can simply say then it with an equ equ equation in an equation rather both sides of the equation you must have the same thing same as so we can simply say f of x is equal to f of x and that would make the equation true now in part in this part they, they gave us a function they gave us an expression in x for f of x so we can say f of x is 2x 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4 x minus 4 and that is equal to and at the top they said also that f of x has the same value as 0 so basically what we could do here we could say all of this is equal to 0 I've just take the expression for f of x here on my left over here across here and I've just simply equate it again to f of x which is which has the same value as 0 so now basically we could just go ahead and quickly transpose if you notice x minus 4 is dividing my left hand side so to to transpose to find the value of x okay we have to divide or sorry we have to multiply which is the opposite of division we have to multiply both sides by x minus 4 okay so basically I can put that over 1 what I do to this side I must also do to the other side so I'm multiplying this side by x minus 4 so basically x minus 4 into itself goes once and x minus 4 into itself goes once so those two will cancel out so here we are left with 2x plus 3 and that is equal to 0 times x minus 4 and we know that 0 times anything will be equal to 0 now if you notice what is happening here I have a 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 so we need to move the 3 the 3 is positive so I'll have to do the opposite of addition which is subtraction so I'll have to say 2x plus 3 what I have there so I must now do the opposite of addition which is to subtract 3 and that is equal to 0 and the new thing that I did here was to subtract 3 so I must do that there so obviously my friends a positive 3 3 minus 3 will cancel out leaving us with a 0 there so what we are left with here we are left with 2x is equal to negative 3 so basically to solve for x now we have to say then 2 is multiplying x so we need to move the 2 to the other side so the opposite of multiplication is to divide through by 2 so what I do to one side I must do to the next 2 will cancel 2 so therefore let's just put it here in another color therefore what I have left on my left hand side is x would be equal to and I would have a negative 3 upon 2 okay so essentially my friends that's our answer let's let's just make a note of that quickly this is our answer okay that's our answer so when x when f of x is equal to 0 the value of x is equal to a negative 3 upon 2 now um quickly you could do a quick check to see if that is true now basically um what you're saying when x is z for x to be zero okay that's what you're saying and this is just a check you're not required to do this but you know I just thought I would just show you the intuition behind it I mean you could always do this for your own good all right just to build your confidence now what you're saying is that whenever f of x is equal to zero whenever the function is equal to zero um, the value of x must be always negative 3 upon 2 so here if you notice the original function was 2x plus 3 and that was all upon x minus 4 okay so basically what we have left here my friends we have we would have a 0 and by substitution by substitution we could have said this is 2 we can say rather this is 2 and that is multiplying x and we know that x is a negative 3 upon 2 okay 
and that is adding we are adding three to that and that's our numerator and that's all upon we have an x in the denominator which is negative three upon two and i've just substitute substituted the value of x in the original um minus four okay now if you notice here i have a positive two multiplying so that two into itself once two into itself goes once so in my numerator i really have left zero is equal to i have a negative three plus three and that is all upon my numerator okay which is minus three upon two minus four i'm not going to work out my numerator because obviously you would have seen that in my sorry i'm not going to work out my denominator because obviously it's it's quite evident in my numerator that i have a positive three and a negative three so zero is equal to three minus three or a negative three plus a positive three would give me zero over my denominator okay which is negative three over two minus four so you know that zero divided by i'm not even going to work that out because um obviously it doesn't make sense now because you would have seen that zero divided by anything is equal to zero so obviously we had proved that whenever x right there we have proved that whenever x is equal to negative three upon two the function f of x is equal to two x plus three over x minus four will always be zero all right hope that was helpful if you are not sure you could always still uh, ask a question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye